Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little foray into the Chalice Dungeons, looking at a haunting Blood Red Moon. But I did some things off camera. I went farming for some souls because I wanted to level up my Arcane to 15, which I now have done. And what that means is that it opened up two items for us that we've obviously uh, picked up, but we haven't been able to use because they both had an Arcane requirement of 15. The first is the Phantasm Shell, and this adds Arcane damage. I don't know how much yet, but... You can see how it works is I use the item and it actually takes three Quicksilver bullets and now I have a 60 second arcane buff on my weapon which is pretty great because that means as long as you have HP you can get a weapon buff and the reason I say that is because when you push up on the d-pad you then get five Quicksilver bullets in reserve so that is enough to use the uh, empty phantasm shell so you just always have that buff pretty pretty great uh, the other thing that I got is the Beast Roar, and this also had a 15 requirement. I'm getting away from the doll just because I don't know what this does for damage. And if you know Force or Wrath of Gods, this might look kind of familiar. Obviously slightly different, but works kind of the same. And you can see that used two of my reserve Quicksilver bullets. So if I do it again, now I'm just at the plus one. So I think we're going to have some fun with those items. Uh, the other thing I did was I did buy the stake driver and I got it up to plus three I don't have any of the twin shards so I can't get it higher than that but we're gonna try this out and see if we can get any good visceral attacks with the stake driver um, I just think that visceral attacks are such a cool mechanic and I'd love to explore them more but I would love to be doing more damage from them so what we're gonna do today is we are going to do a couple of errands um, in that hole that I found near Cathedral Ward there was I dropped all the way down to get to some of the lower sections but I pointed out that it looked like there was a door on one of the platforms and one of you did confirm that that is a door and it goes somewhere that I really want to check out and apparently there's a really cool armor set in there. So we're going to do that first and then we're also going to go to Central Yarnum and talk to an NPC named Gilbert who hopefully has something new for us to say because that same viewer told me I should be doing that. After that, we're going to go back to the cathedral up towards the Grand Cathedral and go towards the right because we have that tonsil stone we picked up and that's where it seems to be directing us. Um, we're going to be holding off in the Unseen Village probably forever because it terrifies me. But for now, I'll see you in the ward. Oh, another thing that I did was I actually rescued the old lady. So she was an NPC that we talked to near the dog pens in Central Yarnum, but I didn't actually have this area unlocked, so I couldn't use it as a safe zone. But now that she's here, I guess we can actually see what she has to say. <laughs> oh. Welcome home, dear. And I can tell you, because I have another so, character who's rescued her, she is not always this cordial. You to tell me. In fact, she's rather rude, uh, and apparently I can actually share my woes, so let me tell you about the trouble I've seen. Oh boy, you poor thing. It has been rough. But don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> this will help you forget. Oh, what are you giving me? Forget your troubles. Forget your cares. <laughs> Go on. Are you... Are you giving me something or what? Let's get to it. Now you gave me a sedative. Because I'm troubled, you give me drugs. You're a horrible parental influence. Oh, are you in a bind again? Am I in a bind again? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I would like something more than a sedative. Or is that it? You're done. You're insane, is what you are. Two more. Wow. Okay. Can I just keep going? You gave me three sedatives. How many sedatives are you going to give me? Oh. Now you be patient. Okay. All right. So she has a limit. Anyway, we got a bunch of sedatives. Not that I actually understand what they're for. Love the cloth physics in this game. Although, sometimes going up looks a little weird. Like this. That, that doesn't look quite right. But most of the time, they're great. Sorry, buddy. Oh, and now I'm at my max of Quicksilver. And let me tell you, 
that is probably the most annoying message on the screen in this game. Oh, you actually did drop something. The fact that they've decided that when you are completely maxed out in your inventory and your storage that it should just take up most of the screen space, that seems to be a bit much. Okay, so this is the pit I was talking about, and we went all the way down to the bottom at first, but you can see the door. Do I? I guess I just hear them above me, but that's kind of creepy. But immediately to my right, there's a door there. And I'm thinking, if I can, if I run straight towards those ropes, and I think, I don't even know if I should jump, maybe roll? We only have 388 echoes, it's not, <gasps> that critical looks good, looks good. Yeah, took a lot of health, but that's okay. And just a very careful step. There we go. Easy peasy. And I'm glad to see it's not locked. That would have that would have been unfortunate. And we are in the abandoned old workshop. This looks just like Hunter's Dream. Man, that moon is huge though. This looks this is Hunter's Dream. Except, there's no doll. There's no headstones. Oh, but where the messengers were, I have a chest. With doll clothes. Is this the cool armor set I was supposed to find? That's weird. Why is her armor here? A discarded doll's hat, likely a spare for dress-up. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care with which it was kept. It borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. Alright, how about the doll clothes? And they have terrible resistances. Discarded doll clothing, likely a spare for dress-up. Well, it looks like it's all the same. Yeah. Well... One in Rome. Oh my. I mean, oh my! Is that how I would sound as a girl? I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Alright, I, if I even sing that just a moment longer, I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Um. Okay. Yay. And this is a thing. I wonder what... It, I wonder what she says when you talk to her wearing this. We'll test that out, but we're we're not we're not gonna wear that right now. That's that's just ridiculous. Uh, let's go for the hunter garb, charred gloves, and eh, I'll go with those. All right. Oh, another item. An old hunter bone. The art of quickening speeds up rolling in quick steps. The bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice to old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from his remains. So that has an arcane requirement of 15, so we can actually test that. So, I'm assuming, actually, let's take a look. Does it take our Quicksilver bullets? Uses six. All right, so let's try. What? Um, hello? Ninja flip ring? Yeah, I don't think so. That, that is staying on our hot bar. That is so cool. Alright, so this area is blocked off. But I do see another item in here. There's the doll. One third of an umbilical cord. Yeah. And that's, honestly, if I had to guess what was sitting on the table, it would have been a third of an umbilical cord. Probably like you guys as well. A great relic, also known as the cord of the eye. Infant... Every infant great one has the precursor of the umbilical cord. So, is that what I'm looking for? An infant of a great one? 
That could be. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. So, the third umbilical cord actually created the hunter's dream. So, where are we right now? If this is the old abandoned workshop, is the hunter's dream just a kind of fictitious version of the old workshop, just in another plane? I don't know. Used to gain insight, and so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. Creepy as all get out. Alright, doll. An abandoned doll. Alright, and that's all you have to say. Time for long weapons. Am I supposed to attack something? Oh, we do have a lamp here, so we can come back. Something in this shelf. A small hair ornament. Where are you? A small plain hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. I wonder if it is actually referring to that old woman that I saved. Why is there a specter here? By the way, scepter. I mean specter, not scepter. I apparently said that quite a lot. Now where... How did you die, pal? Really? You died from that fall. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually more impressive than anything else. Anything else to find? I don't think so. Well, that's pretty cool. So I think this opens up a lot of lore implications. So Hunter's Dream is just that. It's it's a figment of our imagination. Well, it might be a real place, but it doesn't seem to be set in this realm. Because if we go out here, we can actually see how this connects to Yarnum, to the Cathedral Ward. Like, this is an actual physical place. Whereas Hunter's Dream is a manifestation of what appears to be this exact area, just in, I don't know. I keep saying the word plain, but I don't know how else to describe it. Um, let's go back to Hunter's Dream, and let's put on the doll clothes and see if the doll has any unique dialogue. Okay, don't talk to her yet. We gotta be pretty. Oh, so pretty. Welcome home, good hunter. <laughs> What is it you desire? <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, give small hair, hair ornament to her. Okay, I kind of thought it would be the old woman, but I guess... She, I guess your hair's grayish. What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? You're learning to love. Tell me, Hunter. Oh, joy. Could this be joy? Yeah. Likely joy. <sighs> oh, I got a tear stone. I wonder if that's like a blood gem of some sort. Welcome. What is it? Now, do you have anything to say because I'm wearing your Good clothes? Hunter. Your presence somehow soothes. Well, that's because I'm wearing your clothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Good hunter. And that's all you have to say, huh? Farewell. German, are you here? You wanna pretend I'm a doll? Remember? You said that creepy thing about dolls earlier? No? Alright. Anyway, let's go oh god, let's change out of this. This is This is bad. I can't even pretend to like this. Uh actually no, I wanted the chard. Slightly higher defense on the chard. And you know what? Actually, Chart has better fire. I don't know if I'll need better fire, but anyway. So let's go back to Central Yarnum real quick. We're just going to see if Gilbert is there and if we can talk to him. And I just realized that I completely forgot to read that tear stone. Silver shining tear stone used to gain a droplet blood gem. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Whoever thinks this is precious must be troubled by severe naivete. Ooh. 
So someone fashioned a fake tear for the doll because they actually can't cry. Well, what do we get out of it? A tear blood gem. That that would follow suit. Created from a shining silver doll tear, this blood gem is a quiet but unfaltering friend that continually restores HP, the life essence of a hunter. Perhaps the doll's creator had wished for just such a friend, albeit in vain. I really want to know who the creator is. So this gives you HP continues to recover to plus two. So is this, this is like an HP regen? I think I had another one. I do. This fire blood gemstone. That also gives me HP. So that's kind of neat. I would like HP regen. Oh. So. Oh. Guys. I already killed Gilbert. So when I came here last to do farming and I told you that there was a beast here and he dropped the beast rune, that was Gilbert. Well, he wasn't sounding too great the last time I talked to him. Well, sorry Gilbert, but hopefully hopefully now you've found peace. Makes me kind of curious about checking out some of the other residences that had some people in it that didn't want to come with me. But I'll do that another time and... Um, I'll just record it, and if there's anything great, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut that out. But in the meantime, we're going to head towards the Cathedral Ward. So I'm going to skip Hunter's Dream, and then we're going to start making our way to the right of the Great Cathedral and see what's down there and see what the Tonsil Stone can do for us. Now this old lady's gone. Read a letter. Oh. I don't want to. Okay. Hold on. Just wait a wee bit, my little dearie. Where did you go? This isn't exactly the time to just be running around old Yarnum. Uh-oh. Why? You're a new enemy. Oh, wait. No. No, no, no. This is the guy I saved in the, uh, in the Forbidden Forest. Oh, I'm glad to see that you actually made it alive. Oh, hello again. I owe this to you. It's a wonderful place. They even let beggars like myself in. It's a wonderful place? What's better? We keep our distance. Don't step on anyone's toes, right? The Barefoot. The way up here, ought to live. <laughs> yeah. No, you sound completely sane. I appreciate that. Oh, let me share something with you. My secret stash. Ooh. Really proud. You're gonna give stuff. me more sad lives, please don't. Oh, beast blood pellets. Which I still don't know what they do. Oh, hello again. Hi. I really do owe you a terrible lot. Yeah. Finding me such a nice place to live. Again, I'm not so sure about that, but that's all you have, this huh? Is, is everything you own and <laughs> Yeah. Alright. You're welcome. But you know you're living next to a demon crow and you just you just aren't concerned, huh? All right. So we are going to head up to the Grand Cathedral. Oh, I should have switched to my stake driver for that. Nope. Well. Can't pick up any more bullets. All right, here. You know what? Let's... Can I get him? 845. That did 845 on the second swing, so let's test that. Oh, hey, 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 not cool. Oh. What do you... You have a repeating pistol? You do. All right, well... Will you do any sort of melee? So 49 and then, oh, 914. Okay, so this is actually still outclassing. This is still outclassing my stake driver because my stake driver, whoo, Nelly, is only level three, whereas my cane is at plus six. All right, we'll keep working on that to upgrade it, and then as soon as it starts overtaking it, we'll play around with it. I don't have time for you. 
So the two guys with the crosses are gone. They used to be one at the top of the stairs, one at the bottom. But what I was talking about was over here to the right. This is where the tonsil stone seems to direct us. And I've come down here before, but I didn't actually go anywhere. All I did was look down, and we saw this person with that look mace-looking thing, with lightning. We have anything else? There's an item there on that roof. Now, is there anything on this roof, the one that has the crows on it? I'm not so sure there is. So, we're not going to worry about that roof, but we will hop down here, carefully. And then slide. To get... Frenzy Cold Blood. Alright, is that an enemy right there? That is... It looks like another hunter. Alright. So, I think... Time for the old hunter bone. And some magic damage. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, literally. Old Hunter Bone, so good. Yeah, I am, oh, don't you dare heal. And you're dead, so that was great. All right, you, all right, I'm back to regular, so I think we're going to use it again. And let's try this out. Oh, that's going to be great. That's going to be a lot of fun. But what I need to do now is back up really quickly. Back up. Alright, Hunter's down. That bone is incredible. Ooh, bolt paper. I'm guessing that is our electric resin. Coarse rubby paper that applies bolt to weapon. Invented by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop artificially recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround Dark Beast. Unlike the other strange weapons created by Archibald, this one was favored by many hunters, in particular those who have had even once laid eyes on a Dark Beast. Sweet. And what did you give me? bunch of bullets which is great because I just have these new weapons that are phenomenal no response not even not even because I have the tonsil stone no response few notes bless us with blood all right well they're not blessing us with anything because there's no response that moon is just absolutely creepy. And what do we have hiding? Oh, oh, hey! Stay still! Blown, blown, bones, I don't know. It, those shards, I can't, words and things. Um, I don't think there's any reason to go up on the roof. Now there was a path around to the left. I can drop down here. Let's go up. What do we have? Firearms, weights ahead. May the good blood guide your way. Nothing? No enemies? No items? Oh, there's a... Well, I don't want to rush for you because I have an item here. There we go. There's some twin shards. All right, we have some Shooter McShootersons. Uh-oh. No, no. I'm not cursed. You're cursed. And then I have a big guy. But I think it's safe enough to drop. This is where the... That blood chart guy was. That's a shame. But we can always come back. We just have to reset it. And just to confirm that this is exactly where we would have had anyway. Yes. Okay. Let's move forward. Ever so carefully. Oops. 
spin to win. And the visceral. Perfect. Four vials. I'll gladly take that. Oh no. I know this is dangerous, but I'm going for it. Oh, there's another one. Wait. Don't run away. Alright, excellent. Two more twins. That was... Nope, spin to win. Alright, back up and heal because one good hit and he could potentially kill us. Tempering Blood Gemstone, and what did I get from this little crawly guy? Two more twins. Wonderful. Maybe this is that church that they were describing? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is, we know where this is. This is what, where we were dropped off at as after we killed the Ron the Vacuous Spider. And there's that creepy thing that wants to grab us. I just, is it gonna kill me? I feel like that's death, let's... Well, oh, do we know what's down here? Yes, we do, the Unseen Village. That's right, I we've already been here. We didn't need to come in here for any reason. Hey, what is that noise? Why is it making that sound? Well, all right, let's go back up. I wanna see what this thing is gonna do. I only have 15,000 echoes on me. It's not that bad, but I'm healed to full. I mean, should I try to attack it? Nope, <laughs> okay, that's probably just death. And I'm friend. Wow, my health. Okay, he didn't kill me. <laughs> oh, Amidala. Oh, Amidala. <laughs> Have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> hey, language. Amidala. You say that like it's that particular one's name, but they're all over the place. I'm in a lecture building. So this thing actually just transported me. And this isn't the first time. I was also transported when I got killed by one of those bag-wielding enemies. Alright, so we're in some sort of intellectual building. What do we have? Oh god, what is that? That's like a baby amygdala. Bunch of eyes and everything. Ew. Oh, okay, just a lot more eyes. Lantern right off the bat, though, that's... that's always handy. Where... I like it. This place is actually... Oh, hey. Something behind that door. Oh, but you're friendly-ish. You got some crazy eyes there. <laughs> So many people lead with laughter in this game. What a joy it is to behold the divine. It must be such a pleasure. What? You this thing's not it, human, you know. is it? You're nigh on a beast of the field. But here you are, treading a measure with the gods. I'm pretty sure he has the body of some sort of creature. <laughs> are your feet as fat as your wits? Oh, that's oh, rude. This dithering. Take the plunge. Throw yourself to the wolves. <laughs> All right, you're getting one more chance to say something that's not just full of laughter and <laughs> condescension. Are your feet? No. Oh, All right, we're done. It was it was not a pleasure talking to you. You were you were horrible to deal with. 
All right, we're going to take this area slowly. No fake wall. Not there, at least. We're going to hug the left-hand side. That's going to be our rule for this area. Some sort of another laboratory. I'm sorry, laboratory. No items, though. Just jars and jars of eyeballs. <gasps> okay. Look at him. He's wearing... He's wearing, like, graduation robes. You actually... Oh, you're weak, and you... You make me sad. This is a really, really cool set. I'm digging this. It's not as run down and destroyed as a lot of the other places are. Student uniform and trousers, I'm assuming they're the same. Am I actually in Bergenworth? So they are slightly different, and they actually do have different defenses. I don't even know which one... This alternative lacks the cape. Which one did I have before? That's interesting. The other change is that at the very end it says, if only he knew. And on this one, the if is on the third line. Well, I guess finding a student uniform makes sense here. A lecture theater key. Today, the two-story lecture building is adrift in the nightmare, but once it was a place of reflection, where scholars learned of history and archaeology. Perhaps it still is, as the students in the lecture theater appear to await the return of their professor. I think I'm in Bergenworth. I mean, that was the place of learning, and Bergenworth, the... The building that I went into earlier was very small. So maybe this is the actual institution. Alright, so I hugged the left-hand side first, which brought me into... Or am I in a different hallway? No. Where is it? It should be right here, right? Okay. So now, let's do the same on the right. Which is, that's where I came in. Here's the door. Does not open from the side. Fine with me. Nothing down there. Nothing hiding in these cupboards. I hear something slimy and gross. A lot of places for things to hide, and they just haven't seen fit to do that. Oh, and I just opened this with the lecture key. Oh, look, the students are awaiting their professor. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Guys, this is kind of sad, you know? Alright, whip is not a good choice there because I was just hitting the pillars. You guys give a lot of blood echoes for being incredibly weak. Oh, one of my notes was rated fine. How about that? Oh, the whip for crowd control. You guys aren't respawning, are you? No, you're not. Okay. And what do you drop? Can I get your ropes? Ugh. A sedative? Can't get any more Quicksilver, and that's fine. I should actually start using them a bit more. Come here, friend. Whoa! Alright, I actually... Whoa! Nope, you didn't die in two hits like I thought you would. I was mistaken. Look at this guy falling asleep in class. That's rude. I saw the door, but let's check around. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. I love these lecture halls. Very cool. Very set apart from everything else I've seen so far in this game. How did you die? I'm sorry, but I actually didn't take a hit, so I don't know how hard they hit. They might hit like an absolute truck. Oh, we got a chest. More eyeballs. I don't know which one I prefer. I do. It's the chest. 
Ooh, I just got brave and opened that up without hitting it. Augur of Ebriatus. That looks like a chalice item. It's not. Okay. It is not a chalice item. Partially summons Ebriatus. Now, this requires 18 arcane, so I'm going to have to go up three more levels for this. But what does it do? Use phantasms, the invertebrates known to be augurs of the Great Ones, to partially summon abandoned Ebriatus. The initial encounter marked the start of an inquiry into the cosmos from which the old labyrinth, which is the chalice dungeons, and led to the establishment of the choir. Remnant of the eldritch truth encountered at Bergenworth. Like, do I, I get a summon? Am I reading that correctly? Am I understanding that fully? Because I'll put three points into arcane as soon as I can, if that's the case. I know that those are just bullets and I can't pick them up. Anything else hiding? Any notes or anything? Doesn't appear that way. Here's some. Okay, I was gonna say stairs going nowhere, but I know where that leads now. Beware of nightmare. Oh dear. Open door to outside. Nightmare frontier. Wait, there was an upstairs. Oh, can I not go back? Well, I could always warp there, because I have the lantern, but... It looked like there was a second floor to the college. The bell-ringing woman rings a sinister bell. The only time I've seen that is on another character doing co-op with a friend of mine. And then we got invaded. So, maybe I'm about to get some PvP. Which is going to be horrible for me, because I'm rubbish at it. Alright. Nightmare Frontier. I see some sort of bug on the wall straight ahead. What is that snarling? Oh, that's a beast straight ahead. This place is like the deforested forbidden woods. You, I can't target you. Are you an NPC? No. You sure are not. Oh, what is that? Are you a dark beast? And that's what... What's with your head, man? Okay, that hurt. Die quickly. Nothing. Do I go up to the monument? Let's do that. No, just kidding. I didn't even want to go up there. Look boring. Nightmare Frontier. Should I even be here? Should anyone be here? These statues are coded in something. Another... I'm going to call them Dark Beasts because that makes sense. You're a spider with the head of a person on it. Oh, look, with an item directly underneath. Yeah, nice try. Oh, man. Which way do I want to go? I don't... That's not a button? I'm not dropping down there. I'm not going to drop down there at all. Maybe there's an elevator that'll come back up. Why doesn't anyone want to leave notes? What is happening? What are you? You almost look like one of those shard beasts, but... Oh, you were. You absolutely were, but you also attack, apparently. You know what? I should have... Uh, come on. There it is. I was going to say, I should have actually been quiet and snuck up on this dark beast. Oh, here's here's one, though. No, no, no. I need you to die because I'm about to be attacked by this guy. Oh, you have some range, huh? Oh. You have incredible range and... Incredible angle. Oh, I didn't knock you out of it, but you didn't get me either, so we're going to call that a win on both parties. Just bloodstone shards. Not even twins, really? 
Where the heck am I? <laughs> Seriously. Alright. Pushing forward slowly and in a terrified manner. I hear ringing. I hear ringing. This light looks... That ringing is really close. Is that the bell woman? It is the bell woman, isn't it? Where are you? If I can find you, I can stop myself from being invaded. Where are you, lady? I know your tricks. Oh, brother. All right. Sorry, bud. We got another one. Okay, um... Are these players? These aren't players, right? Alright, run. I don't think these are players. I could be wrong. You know what? Did that other guy fall? Well, lead elixir. I don't think you were players. That's kind of a shame. I was hoping I was just doing really, really well. The beast roar. Starting to love it. I never, I never really disliked it, but now... We are probably going to be long friends. The other guy fell, and I don't think I want to follow suit. I know, I know I don't. There's no debate there. Snarling. Oh, there's the bell woman. I can't get to her, but there she is. Madman's knowledge. Where's that snarling? Because I think that's one of the bigger shard beasts. Starting to ring that bell a whole lot, aren't you? You're down here. Oh, you're not the same. Back up. Gotcha. Blood vial? Lady, I will get to you when I can, all right? Oh, I don't know that I want to give chase, but I'm gonna. Hear that stomping? I heard it. Oh, I heard it. Oh, it's just this guy just throwing pieces of a mountain at me. Oh, I guess some, oh, there's an there are more. I can't explore this place if you're going to be throwing stuff at me. And that's a death. But I want to read that item description. Alright, before we go and attempt to retrieve our blood echoes, let's find out what we just picked up. What was, what did we pick up? Oh, it's actually a chalice item. Cold blood flower bud. Cold blood flower, flower bud. <laughs> Pale vegetation that commonly grows on cold blood in a place long ago abandoned. All right. So another chalice item. Well, uh, I'm going to cut the episode here. We'll continue on with this nightmare frontier next time. Um, so I'll see you then. And uh, I'm terrified. <laughs>